Good evening. Ow. <laughs> it's nighttime. I don't know. It's like seven o'clock or something. Uh, I so enjoyed the chicken video and um, tomorrow's Thursday. So I'm going to upload this tonight. I just wanted to give an intro to this. So I sat um, in the barn with Jason and Lucy and Lucy wrote a book called Locally Laid and they weren't farmers before. And uh, Lucy works for the Department of Tourism uh, for Duluth because just like anybody who has a business, one of them has to carry the benefits and the health insurance and stuff. And, um, but they gave so much information that I didn't know and they are hilarious. I told them I found part of my tribe in them. They, uh, we're just the most wonderful people ever. Uh, so I didn't want to miss out on sharing this with you. So um, I'm just going to put this in next uncut of us sitting in the barn talking. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> well, uh, if you think the, well, there's some of the chickens that we didn't get. How many do you think that were left out? At least 12. Did he tell you that we had them almost all in? Yes, and then a the fence blew over. Yeah, there was at least another 30 or 40 of that were Yeah. Out. Did he tell you that since May I've been saying I think we need a new fence? No, oh, he didn't tell oh, me no, that. he didn't tell her? Tragic. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, are you pink? No, we, we can... Uh... We just ordered more fans and it'll, whenever it arrives. Well, I said, it should be, you should have it as a workout that you let the chickens out and people just run and catch the chickens. Right. Yeah. People Part would. Of us don't want to um, get rid of the, the failed fence because people love putting the birds in. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing like I said, when I pulled up, because when I went to Taylor's Falls, the chickens were out. They let them out. So I'm like, oh, there's the chickens because they all run up to you yeah. and they were pecking my feet. And I'm like, oh, hi, chickens, you know? And then it's like, oh, they got out. We got to put them all back. And I'm like, all of them? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, well, and there's more like, predators here in, than in Taylor's Falls, probably. Yeah, well, it's, and it was, what, an hour and a half of just <laughs> even chickens into the I the wonder paddock. how many steps you got. Well, I can you, tell you. I mean, right you, now I have almost 18,000. Oh, so, yeah. you could poultry a size. <laughs> yes. We yeah. Well, that's what I said. Right? You should, like, and then just incorporate, like, you know, lunges or something, like I two chickens so. on the, each side and squat. Squat. Maybe, I think so. with Richard Simmons. Would yeah. Be, yeah. Would be yeah. Yeah. We're so, in. We're in. introduce yourselves. <laughs> I'm Lucy. I am the marketing chick of Locally Laid Egg Company. Uh, Jason, I am the head clucker of Locally Laid Egg Company. <laughs> Oh, they've been using these puns all night. Yeah. We've been sitting here right. drinking. Uh, this is amazing, by the way. I was telling him what's so great about this. So now, what do you do? You guys just buy this, or do they? It comes from your. It comes from our farm. So we are a honeyberry orchard. Yes. So we have about ten thousand honeyberry plants. Oh my in the gosh! Ground. Yeah. And honeyberries are a fruit that comes from Russia and Japan. And really? It is. It's a, it's if a blueberry that fell in love with a pack of sweet tarts. <laughs> So some are sweet it. and some are tart and some are sour. And we sold this in, in this case to Wild State Cidery and they made a cider out of it. And good news, Duluth, Minnesota is the same growing climate as Siberia. So it all no. works out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, that's sad, it's really, isn't really, it? Really, it really is. goddamn cold. Really so it, they don't grow during the winter, do they? No, no. 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 But yeah. they need it cold. To, oh, they do? They, they yeah. like, they're a cold weather hardy fruit. Right, Does, doesn't work in Louisiana. Right. <laughs> so when do you harvest them then? So honeyberries are usually uh, late June, early July. So they're one of the first to fruit. Okay. So basically the same time as strawberries, I think. is. Yeah. yeah, and they're oblong. They're not particularly cute, but they're really, really delicious. So what made you get into that? That guy. That guy. Well, I've recently been diagnosed with DUM, which is an acronym for dumb. Um, but in all seriousness, it's, it's the old conundrum of how do you make a farm pay for itself? Right. Um, you know, there's no money in hay. There's no, no money in corn. I, there's no money in I was just talking beans. to somebody about that. Even dairy, like cattle. Dairy. Yeah. Well, we have our pasture-raised chickens and we have eggs, but right. but there's a myriad of expenses to having right. a Right. Oh, right. I can't even imagine. Oh, no, it's just insane. So yeah. it's, it's a conundrum of how do you do that? Right. And then... What it really came down to is 
I can be in a situation where I'm a price taker, where I just take what price is given to me, like right. I grow corn. Right. Or I can be a price maker, where I can tell people, if you come to our farm, this is the price you're gonna pay for our product. Right. And we can differentiate, it's different, and people love it, and they keep coming back, so we're lucky that way. Well, and you say yeah. too, they come and pick, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pick your own operation, and People are realizing what a great family activity it mm -hmm. is. It's a great date night mm -hmm. because you don't have to stare at each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people like that. Uh, we have a surprisingly large Russian community in this area really? and they come yeah. and we see people taste the fruit and you can almost watch them revert to their childhoods. Oh. I've seen a woman be teary <gasps> that this was a flavor she never thought she'd again oh my yeah. gosh and um sometimes they tell us their stories and we bear witness to all they've been through. we're talking about stories so we were just talking we actually have a lot in common so you wrote a book right i did it's called locally laid um and it is about starting our egg farm and um an imprint of Penguin put it out in 2016, and um, it's probably at your library. <laughs> um, so we had we that was really good, and I got to tour around the country and tell oh, this did? really funny story about how we accidentally took a giant pratfall into agriculture, and um, people who are interested in learning about agricultural economics, I kind of like tell ridiculous stories and also the actual economics behind it. It has like a huge index to it. It's taught in some business schools. Really? It's fun. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, since I've been on the road and it's funny um, because, <laughs> hello, we got, a, we got a guest here. Oh, you won't let me catch you before, but now you're taunting me. <laughs> um, that since I've been on the road, you know, when you're at home and you're sitting in your house and sitting in a cubicle and stuff like that, being on the road has really, because now I'm really into saving the bees. Yeah. So um, there's a jewelry, it's called Be Kind, B-E-E -E oh, Kind. Cute. And they had reached out to me like pretty much when I started. And um, so a lot of their proceeds go to help saving the bees. Right. And then I started kind of researching. And when you're on the road, like my home is wherever I land. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like mm -hmm. state parks or whether it's a, I mean, a a parking lot or wherever An but Airbnb it's Bach. yeah <laughs> or with the chickens yeah but that's it and that's where my adventures now lie is i and i'm thinking so next month i'm going uh vegetarian and i don't eat a lot of meat anyway but being out on the road has made me more ethically aware and it's just, I think that that's why most uh, van lifers are vegan because like, you know, you're out in the environment. You're literally, yeah. truly, that is your home. Sure. And so, um, and I wanted to ask, so you said you just started the Airbnb when? Recently. June. Yeah, yeah. just this year. Just this year. Yeah. And it's like, cause I know I went on and tried to get an, and so tonight, is, today is Labor Day. Right. So I was pretty lucky because I think everybody already spent their weekend away. So yeah. that could be, um, it has been so much fun. It's like we're having a sleepover at locally laid, uh -huh. um, cause we've been around for 10 years and there's been a lot of oh, your people, egg anniversary, our right. egg anniversary. <laughs> but, um, bump, yeah. they do. <laughs> uh, but people have been interested in our farm, which we're so lucky about. And they come and they're like, Oh, we've been following you forever. Yeah. And they're like, can't believe that they get to meet Lola, which is the name of all our chickens. Short for locally. <laughs> short for I said, do you name all the chickens? How many chickens do you have? Just only 400 right now. <laughs> only 400. Um, we have partner farms that uh -huh. have other oh, really? birds too. So that all of us together, can be a big brand and uh, sell out there in the world to, to grow. Oh, and stores. tell the story too about the chickens, where you get them and why. Oh, well, our very, very first flock of chickens, uh, when we knew so little, we bought these chickens from this guy. Never buy things from a guy. <laughs> we bought these chickens from a guy on the side of a road. It's gonna be great. And uh, we bought how many chickens? 1,800, I think. <gasps> yeah. And we had 1,800 chickens, and we're waiting. We had built these beautiful hoop coops. All our friends had helped us, and we're waiting for them all to go into their hoops because chickens <laughs> go home to roost because it's a law. 
and yeah. they were not following the law because we're waiting for them to go in and they're like, oh, <laughs> side eye. They're not going oh. in. And I'm like, um, they're not going in, Jason, Jason. And Jason's like, uh, give them time. They're going to go in. And it was like dark. <laughs> they're not in. And we had to put them in one by one. <gasps> 1,800 by one. chickens? Yeah. And then we looked into their coop because we had all these multi-layer roosts for them. Yeah. Chickens roost. Uh, because they are actually tropical birds in the in their ancestral selves, they want to be high. Uh -huh. And it was like there was a penthouse apartment building, but there was they were all like <laughs> there was garden no level. Money. We were all garden <laughs> level. And Jason looked at me and he's like, "You should go home. <laughs> you should drink some wine." <laughs> And he recommended a box. <laughs> That's why we like just, Jason. Yeah. Just a box of wine. <laughs> and he stayed. And he stayed. He was, he's the hero of the story. And he put them up one by one by one until he trained them over several oh, weeks. You had, to, you had to train each chicken to, <laughs> to roost. And one day they kind of woke up and, and they're like, oh, oh, we're chickens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they started like not being terrified of the beautiful prairie we had created yeah. for them. Well, and did you say that? Because I know you said in the front of the book that about the light that the mm. chickens they didn't know. I thank you for saying that. They didn't know their instinctual selves to go into the coop or even to roost because. They didn't have the reaction to the sun because they had never seen the sun. Because, uh, yeah. Commercial chicken farming is a in-the-building deal. It's like they live in a casino and they never know what time it is. They Perfect no analogy. what's going on. They're just doing their thing. And um, so we learned a lot. And so now, <laughs> did you say you get these from Iowa? Yeah, we work with a poly grower. So they're... There are great chickens in there. And what's nice about So are it, these different chickens than you started with? Let's hope so. That was 10 years ago. <laughs> <Yes>. Oh, <laughs> well, how long does a chicken live? I don't even know. Well, most layers will lay for about 14 months. That's it? Yeah. That is it. Like yeah. when you go to the deli and you see like rotisserie chickens yeah. on that carnival Oh, ride. that's the one that <laughs> quit laying? Yeah. Well, no. no actually, meat birds, yeah. meat birds are like 58 days old. And our chickens are like ancient by the time we're done with them. Yeah. And they either go, they're still laying, but not at a commercial rate. Right. And they either go on to someone who is wanting to have more birds uh -huh. or they'll go on to a community, say the Hmong community or an Amish community that is interested in stew hens because mm -hmm. our culture is not... Right familiar with stew hens anymore what like are my, stew hens they're a bird that's really tough and that you have to pretty much boil or break down for a day or two. Oh, so and they then eat them in the oh, yeah. stew oh, yeah okay yeah. it's a circle of life it is right. i mean it is yeah. it's like yeah yeah so i guess the way to describe it is that chickens are what i call ovulation engines it's yeah kind of my analogy yeah um, so broadly speaking a, a chicken will start laying eggs at around 18 19 weeks and then she'll that's like, soon yeah and then and i then, knew nothing about chickens and then after about 14 weeks the production drops off so you get a lot of eggs that are or 14 months i'm sorry 14 months yeah okay it's like wow they're in and they're out yeah so, yeah. <laughs> so they'll start laying eggs at about roughly 19 weeks and then after about 14 months it's over because the shell quality drops so bad but what happens oh, the when, shell oh. yeah so you get a lot when they yeah. start laying eggs you get a lot of medium eggs yeah. and a lot of large eggs yeah and then as the bird gets older, you get fewer eggs, but they're larger. That's generally speaking how it works. Yeah. So how do you, did you buy them all at the same time or do, how do you know yeah, like you, to? You have to. So you can't, um, you can't introduce a bird who's not from the flock. <gasps> really? Oh, I'm learning so much. Because, I never knew. Yeah. If you read my book, you'll be at the end. You'll be like, I have all this cocktail. Oh, I'm going to read. <laughs> um, I'm reading your book. What's the name of the book? Look at it. It's called Locally Laid. Lo well, Locally Laid. Yes. The name of our, our Who company. named the place? Well, 
both of us. Both of us I think you said laid local. I said locally laid, but then I said no. I, I'm kidding. Yeah. And he's like, I was oh, gonna say that's, that's a little it. risque, you I'm know? Right. Yeah. Like, no, no, I'm kidding. That was a joke because I'm a jokester. Well, yeah, and then we were. I was really surprised when I reserved the the domain name that a porn site hadn't taken. <laughs> Or but we were service. hacked by a porn site pretty soon yeah. after. We, yeah. yeah. Or an escort service. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's locally laid, and then we say local chicks are better. Oh. <laughs> so, Perfect. Minnesota yeah. chicks are better. Yeah. It's yeah. so true. It's fun. Yeah. So, okay. So they lay for 14 months. Mm -hmm. Broadly speaking, yeah. And then the shells get, like, yeah, the weaker? Yeah, totally drops, and then the number of eggs just falls off. So it just... And you, you really can't can. fulfill the orders. So, that you so like, how long have you had this flock? Oh, um, we got yeah. them in late, like, I don't know, April, late so April. So they're going to be great birds for someone else because we're not overwintering here. We just do summer and oh, okay. we do spring, summer, and fall, and then we sell them to a partner farmer. Oh, I see. So every spring you we buy a new, new okay, you buy got new it. Pullets, and so yep. we get these like gangly teen birds, and then they they start laying eggs. They're pretty wow. great. Let's yeah. Grab her. So oh, tell me cool. what you have. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and there's, honestly, they're so nice. The one in Taylor's Falls, really? I mean, I guess I didn't know that I could just pick them up. And he's like, he just started picking them up. And I'm like, okay, because there were so many of them. So yeah. I just started no, picking them up. Really, this is a very nice flock. Yeah. Um, they are. I mean, I was like. feed them treats. Oh, we yeah, feed them they, pasta. We give them, yeah, bread. Oh my God, do they love carbs? Yeah, like us. Yeah, like, I love carbs. They love, they yeah. love. When like, I'm talking to him, I'm like, yeah, I get it. And he's yeah. like, burr, burr, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, I know. Sometimes. She's a little freaked out right now. All right, I'm going to let you go. Ah. So, okay, you were telling me, so I'm staying in the coop. Well, you're in the nest, yeah. which is or the nest, one yes. third chicken coop, two thirds people coop. And that's what I was, because I was trying to explain to my mom. I'm like, mom, she goes, <laughs> Well, I hope they don't keep you up all night. Oh, Mom, there's like no. plexiglass in between them. There, you know? yeah. <laughs> this was Jason's idea. He gets all the credit. That's for so cool. Because people yeah. are like, where'd you find that place? Because I just look posted at this, something. Look at this girl. She's like, <gasps> she is like, she's just... like, okay, you caught me. Yeah. 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 She didn't want to be caught before. And now she's sitting on your lap. But, you know, they're, I think they are affection seeking. They, these are very sweet birds, and people come and they can't believe how sweet they are. Oh, no. I mean, really, so I was like, come cards. on. And then they just kind of squat down. Yeah, and well, I pick them up. I'm like, you're a rooster. Yeah, yeah I, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Not a rooster. Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, no, there's more out. But then we saw, okay, so you have that's the nest. And then we have the perch. Which the is perch. She's so we, beautiful. Yep, we have to still get that. Um, I have to. We have to go through that. I didn't get any footage oh, yeah. of that. And then we have the roost, which is another, um, bunk just house. a bunkhouse. Because it's important to us that if people want to learn about farming, like yep. we're always happy to drink beer and, <laughs> and chat with people. If people yeah. truly, This is great. This You're is great. my kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> if people truly want to learn about farming and they can't afford it, these are like, we have some indoor camping options, right. you know, which are, are priced like that, where they're essentially between like 45 and 60 bucks a night. This is pretty dang cheap. Oh, yeah. Night. No, because, yeah, I mean, and staying there was only because the, is that, what's that, the perch? Yeah. So you have the to stay there two perch. nights. Yep. Well, and we the... do, in the fall, we do change that to one night. But during farm season when we're busy, right. yep. it's two mm -hmm. nights. Because it takes a, we have fancy bedding oh. and we make it all fun. Yeah. Um, oh, it's beautiful in there. It's really like shishi, modern, beautiful, yep. Instagrammable. And yep. that's like for, for folks who just want to come have this great experience. But Jason's a farmer veteran, and we want to make sure farmer veterans can afford it. Right, exactly. So if you're truly like a young person who's like, I want to know all about farming, and we give you our farm contraception speech about <laughs> all the reasons you should not go into farming, and you still want <laughs> and to you, right. anyway, yeah. right. then farming is for you. You, right, you dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dumbass club. Yeah. Yeah. D-U-M, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. we... Um, so that's how that goes. And I think some people have come like all wide eyed and been like, oh, this is right. yeah, no. My office job looked awesome. Yeah, right. That yeah. cubicle's looking really For good. My giant yeah. Bun coffee maker. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then other people yeah. have been really had such great questions. And we talk about distribution and branding and marketing. And, you know, yeah. we're because kind that's of the open. thing, it is a business. I mean, it's oh, not yeah. just farming. 
but it's a business. Do you know what I mean? It's two separate things. It's a mid-sized farm, which is actually like this really hard category. Right, yeah. And um, we're just, we have learned a lot and I'm so happy to teach other people how to ruin their lives. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well and I'm so happy to, he's yeah. like, were you happy and secure and safe? Well, What's funny? So I'm running around. A farmer. I'm running around catching <laughs> oh chickens. Oh my god! The, the birds didn't are, blow down. They're all head. over now. Yeah, they're all like. Oh man. <laughs> well, it seems like at least they're coming to us now instead of us having to like chase them. Yeah, they need to get back in the paddock. We're having a a paddock fence fail. <laughs> and like I said, I thought he was kidding, and then all of a sudden he was over there. And the fence fell again? <laughs> well, you know, I think this time we just wait until dark and they'll go in. We'll open the fence and they'll go in. Well, if you open, open the fence, then the rest of them will come out, won't they? But then they'll put themselves But you know what? I haven't even good, been good I haven't even been in the thing yet. In the perch? Yeah. Oh, we should go. Or the perch. No, no, wait, the, the nest. nest. You I haven't, haven't even been into your house? <laughs> I was oh. catching chickens for the last three hours. Wow. No wonder. Okay, why, why don't you give us here? a tour? Sure. Of everything. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go take a tour. Aren't they amazing? They are hilarious. Maybe that's why I liked them so much. They had my kind of sense of humor. But you know what to do. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that. You can do it. Go ahead. Come on. I'll meet you on the road. And go call someone you love. And as Joyce says, tell them that you love them. And uh, sorry, I've been a little MIA with uh, responding to the comments lately. I just been so busy. Um, and now we have the new booster shot. I just got mine today and um, we have the flu shot and I'm trying to work as much as I can before I leave to make as much money as I can to get out on the road because you know, I don't want to make it look like all um, puppy dogs and rainbows. I mean, you know, I have to work and that's how I support myself and my daughter and help her to afford to be able to do this. So, um, all right, I kind of jumped in in between my spiel. Don't you dare forget you are magic. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.